I'm interested, but there's already clear things to me that are like, yes. I don't know. Yes, exactly. I like, oh, cool, Marvel. Oh, cool, it's a PvP Marvel game. Oh, it's it just looks a lot of it looks like that stock standard like vibe that's going around like you know the Fortnite uh smite like it's, it's like i don't want to i'm not trying to diss those games because th this game feels like those games without the extra like effort put in if that makes sense um interesting but they're it's a hot take I don't know. I just, I know that because it, 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 listen, it, it says open, whatever. It just, it's missing that extra spice that I want it to have. If that makes sense. Like, okay. It just seems Real like, quick, I don't know. Maybe we should record. We should record this if we want, because I, I have some thoughts and I'm interested in getting your thoughts. We should just record it and yeah, I'll set already, a timer for like 10 minutes. And we're, we're already we'll recording. Sure to... So we could just, let's just let's just say our two cents and we'll, we'll call this we'll call this the in-between for the week um that's fine okay. with me um but yeah okay. I, I mean i yeah yeah so that's kind of that's my take on it is i love the idea but the execution doesn't seem to be all there like the the trailer was it was making it feel way more hype than it actually is to me Right, like I've seen Marvel vs. Capcom two and three. I've seen even like the Ultimate Alliance games. I, I can't speak for all of them, but like, and it, like if you look at games like Smash and Rivals two, and it's like those games you can tell have gone the extra mile. And I feel like this game is not going the extra mile. I feel like it's just kind of trying to emulate what's popular. And yeah, I don't, well, I don't so like that. I don't like that. Some thoughts that I have with it are, uh, I guess to be to clarify, Marvel Rivals, which I I don't know. I think this did this video announced it. Yeah, it found it. When did it as come of, out? Did it the release just of this video? Did it just release as of this was this, this morning. Okay, so it's... this is this morning, and it's actually number one on trending. Oh on my YouTube gosh! Right now, yeah, I, th dude, that's crazy, man. Like. Maybe because I don't. I'm not the guy to ask about this because games like Smite and League of Legends, like which is what this game is clearly trying to be like. It's got the same kind of health bar. It's probably got uh, abilities on cooldown. It's probably got an array of heroes that you have to unlock via microtransactions or whatever, right? Like it's probably going to be that kind of game, and that's not my thing. So I don't know if I'm the right guy to ask. Because someone who plays Smite, someone who plays League of Legends or any game like that might be freaking out over this if they're a Marvel fan. Well, so I, so, yeah, I want on it. that note, actually, I kind of am freaking out a little bit. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm exactly that. I am the target audience because I played, played Overwatch. I played League of Legends. I, I almost dropped everything in my entire life to play League of Legends uh, right, competitively. Right, right, right. I wanted to. So this is definitely kind of my uh, my thing, but I'm with you on a lot of the things where it just kind of feels. For for one, at the very end of the trailer, it says it's an, an alpha, so it's it's very, closed. It's alpha begins May. Sure, it's yeah. Very very early uh, look at the game. It probably will have a bit more polish. I will say it has polish. It has a very clear style. Um, I do think just because of the saturation of this kind of style, like you said, with Fortnite and Smite and that kind of stuff. Yes. The art style already has such a high saturation right now that it doesn't feel as unique. So what I'm looking at is a lot of the gameplay and also the characters they chose. Is because like the reason that I would want to play a Marvel game is for the characters. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's why like, you want to play. Like here we have we have Hulk, we have Iron Man, and we have Doctor Strange kind of spearheading it. And then you've got like, you know, Spider Man obviously, and then uh, like Guard the Guardians of the Galaxy. So like I feel like they're 
totally trying to cater towards the people who watch the movies and the shows. Um, yeah, but then know. they've got some of these weird. Yeah, there's picks. a bunch. There's like, a bunch I don't recognize. So to be fair, as a big Marvel person, I am, I know who all of these characters are. I could I could name them off. Oh, okay. And it, it introduced some of them. So like Magic, the girl with the big sword, she's a mutant. Okay. Okay. Wait, so if she's a mutant, does that... Well, I don't know where X-Men is with Marvel right now. Because like, I feel like if X-Men was going to be in this like full stop, I feel like they would have shown Wolverine. Like, I feel like that would be a no-brainer. You would think, but Marvel's in a really weird state where... For lack of a better term, they're kind of going woke with it. <laughs> Whatever that means at this point. Yeah, I don't exactly know what you mean by that, but I think I maybe you know, but like... They're trying to do a paradigm shift from your traditional American value heroes to heroes that have different outlooks on life that I might not necessarily agree with. And then right, they're also right. but putting like... in a bunch of different race slash gender swaps and kind of well, inserting. Sure. Right. But the, the thing that I don't understand is that that doesn't, that doesn't mean Deadpool and Wolverine are any less popular or can be any less relevant because they, they could just, change wolverine's outlook or something you know it's like but people clearly like wolverine and, and deadpool the way that they are um which is why it's just weird to me because they're they're clearly putting in fan favorites like you have iron man who is just tony stark like you can hear the way he talks they're clearly trying to emulate mcu tony stark um you know and like hulk they're not changing hulk at all he's just a green guy who slams people around so it's like i don't see why they couldn't instead of maybe showing off some of these characters no one's ever heard of. Why don't you show off Wolverine? Why don't you show off Deadpool? Or That's know. exactly what I mean in that Marvel's kind of going a little... They're, they're doing that to favor on less popular characters for the sake of they feel some sort of demographic. At least... Well, I don't... I, that's you know, my I don't feeling know, on it. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they were trying to push more uh, female heroes to kind of like even out the like the roster or whatever because i and now that i think about it like you know uh I, I don't have an opinion on like the whole morality of everything but i i do see that at least on paper there's not a lot of females in marvel's like popular lineup i would say uh, like on the on the surface like for mcu at least like you have black widow and you know if you're dipping into uh, X Men, you've got like R Rogue and uh, Phoenix, right? And it's like th those are like the ones I can think off the top of my head. And then you've got like She Hulk, and you know, um, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know if your if your outlook on that's a little different. Um, in terms of just like I don't know if maybe they were just trying to put in a few more female heroes because I do, I do think that all okay. of the ones that they did show off were females. So, um. Well, also the I'll, I'll say this. Like the ones I didn't know. If you're going to put in a female character, why put in Luna Snow and Penny Parker? Who <laughs> are... are the, wait, is they Penny aren't, Parker... The, wait, who's the one with the sword? You just said... The that's name. Magic. So, so that's Magic, okay, I'm magic. fine with. Because Magic's a very popular mutant. At least in the later mutant. See, it's interesting that I see these characters oh, here. Park, and I see... Yeah, Penny's the one with the, the mech. She's... Yeah, is the she, spider man. Is she the one in Spider Verse? Thing. Is that the same, same girl? Yes, it's the same okay. character. Just the likeness is obviously right. quite different. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm trying to say here is, if you're gonna put in the female characters, put in the the ones that people know and love. Yeah, I mean, I mean that is true as well. Like, in these ones later, th that but is I don't true. see a single I... gender. I don't see a. Yeah, where's Black Widow? X where's Men. She Hulk? Where's Phoenix? Right? Like, those are like, those would make way more sense. Yeah. What where's, about like, where's, where's the, the female Loki? Rogue? Like, she's popping off right now. Um, or at least she, yeah. she, she was back. But I mean, it was new. I don't, I would rather have the original Loki than, than maybe a female Loki skin. But, I know, so, I know. But I'm just talking about like, if you're going to include it, like, 
if you're looking for females to, uh, to for the roster, like she'd probably be high up on the list of what people would want. All I'm saying is you shouldn't be. I think it's really weird that they're reaching for really, really far away female characters when there's so many prominent ones that you could have put in. Yeah, that's true. Like that's true. Rescue like, or Black weird. Widow or Storm or for, from someone it feels who, out of place. Yeah. From someone who hasn't like I don't know who these characters are. From that perspective, they might as well be new brand new characters. They which maybe that's what they're going for. But like for me it's weird that it's like, oh, here are the legacy characters and then here are the new characters that for all I know could be coming straight out of League of Legends or Smite or something. Like I don't know. I don't know these characters. Right. Um, exactly. I, and so. I find it, I find it so weird because I see guardians. I see as guardians. I see Avengers. Yeah. It's right? like not even all the Avengers, right? It's like, you got Iron Man, Hulk, uh, and then they show Loki and not Thor. Cause apparently, uh, Loki is more popular now, which is true. <laughs> But it's just but, weird, bro. So it's where? Why is strange. there not a single Fantastic Four person? Or who's, or who's Aquaman? Because I honestly, every time I see him, I'm like, oh, it's Aquaman. But I'm like, no, that's DC. So who is this guy? I don't, <laughs> I don't even know who that guy that's, is. Um, that's Namor. Oh, and we've got Black Panther in there. You know, but like Black Panther's in, but not Captain America. It's like okay, all right. Yeah, it's just they're selecting the starting lineup is kind of weird. It seems I, I agree strange. with a lot of it. Is is Thanos but, on the Guardians? Or am I tripping? Who no. is that? When they show the Guardian silhouette, you've got let's see, you've got Scarlet Witch, you've got uh you know, uh sorry, I'm blanking. Oh, the people sorry. are you talking about at the end of the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got Peter Quill, Star Lord. Okay, so you've got Scarlet so Witch. You've going got the... left to right, I can tell you every yeah, single one of them. Yeah, going yeah. left to right, you've got. So for the people watching, you're just gonna have to watch the Marvel Rivals yes. trailer. Look up and, the Marvel Rivals and trailer kind of... and follow along. Uh, it's near the end. There's like a train but... that passes by, and it shows these characters. It's honestly kind of sick the way they frame these guys. Um, yeah. So the. From left to right, it's Storm, and oh, okay. then I'm pretty sure that's that was, Magneto. I thought that in was the back. Storm. Okay, I had an I had an idea. Yeah, so at least that Storm's Magneto. gonna be there. Okay, sorry. So yeah, Storm, Magneto, then Star Lord, of course, and then you have Mantis, Mantis. right there. Mm -hmm. Behind them is a personal favorite, Cable, Cable. Which okay, I have thoughts about Cable, and then Scarlet Witch. Okay. Um, so I I yeah. love. Cable. Cable is Cyclops and Jean Grey's son from the future. Oh. He, he time travels in the past, and he's kind of this like relentless bounty hunter. He interacts with Deadpool a lot. He has this disease where he has like metal growing, like on his body, and because he's a telepath like Jean Grey, he's constantly like he can't use his telepathic powers, even though he's one of the strongest telepaths. He's constantly using it to fight back the metal virus inside of him so he's just kind of like a super shooter Interesting. anyway really cool really cool character love that he's here i love cable why the heck is cyclops not here first why isn't wolverine here Green? first why isn't why Captain isn't America wolverine here where's thanos bro everybody in the entire world knows who thanos is probably more than most marvel heroes like gosh, so, dang. yeah, the, it's just it's just like the it's those choices that are red flags to me. Those scream the people, the guys, the developers who are making it don't get it. They right. don't. OK, so you're saying that like as a Marvel super with. fan, you don't get the sense that the people making this game are understanding Marvel the way you do as a super fan. Like they they're not yeah. from that same place of. Exactly. At least exactly. that's how it feels. We're not. We're and not I, saying that that it is or it isn't that way. That's just the vibe we're getting. Um, at least from Kai. I'm not a super fan, so I, I can give I can give my take. Uh, because I feel like now okay, that I've had a little quick, bit more time though, to I have, on it. I, I have. I have. A, I have one more thing I want to sure, say yeah. before I hear your take. What the freak is going on with Galactus? <laughs> Wait, where is he? It's not even a he. You know what Galactus is, right? The he, yeah, yeah. So he's, Galactus he's a big, is a big, big planet. Big boy. I I know him because I've played MVC three. 
and he is the the big baddie at the end of the arcade mode so go to a minute 42 on the video okay uh let's see here oh that's no shot i thought that was some kind of weird like watcher mysterio i had no idea she was galactus is that real? That is the exact oh head, headdress thing that Galactus has. Oh, you're right. The exact bro. same what colors. The, heck? the exact same. Like, I saw that and I was like, what in the heck? Why did you anime waifu up yeah, Galactus? Yeah, because, yeah, again, I have no, like, do do what you want, right? Like, Marvel, I'm, I'm okay for them to experiment. But if you're going to change Galactus into a girl she still needs to like act like Galactus. And this is, this does not give off any vibe of the vibe that the other Galactus gave off, which was like super like evil planet destroying monster. I don't know the planet eater. Yeah. Which is what he's called. But no, she's being all dainty here, touching little gems. And it's like, what? Why, why did they, Anime waifu her. It, it it's upsetting to me. No. That I can I can I can understand that. Um and her voice is so anime y. And I here's the thing. I don't have a problem with anime that much. It it's got its own style. It's it got just, its own thing it that they like to do. Field. But yeah. why would you it's that deliberate change, the deliberate change of a character that already exists into something that it doesn't need to be in any way. Yeah, like you're, I, we've talked about this on the podcast, but it's like if you're going to change something and ad, adapt something into something else, like there needs to be a, a, a good reason to, right? Because again, we have no problem with female characters. We have no problem with, you know, maybe gender bending a character. Like I feel like, but there, there's like a right and a wrong way to change a character. And that's what we're referring to here. Like if you're going to change a character, have it make sense. Have like understand why that character worked in the first place. Why do people like this character? Why do they have a legacy? What was their role in the lore and the mythos of the world? You know, and so I, you see, seeing that it definitely, I definitely agree with you. It's like, I don't think they understood <laughs> Galactus as a character. When they, they didn't understand the assignment, dude. They didn't, <laughs> like, you know, it's not that hard. You just, you just plug in the top heroes that have been the top heroes for a reason for the yeah, longest it, time. It does but seem weird. If man. you want diverse ish characters and stuff, Nick Fury in here. Yeah, Nick Fury. But, Nick Fury uh, would be sick. I mean, Storm is a good pick because she's. Yeah, Storm is. She is, but like, I, I, yeah, she's a really good pick. And then, you know, Magneto's a good pick too, but it's I, all, it, it is weird, man. It's just weird. This weird. will speak volumes of how I feel about this. I would prefer She Hulk over this Waifu Galactus. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. In fact, it that's, would make more that's sense. That's saying something. It would make more sense for her to be like this. Because I don't know what the role is going to be in the game for this Galactus girl. Or they might change the name to like Galacta Girl or something. I don't know. But like, it would be interesting if her role was like to be the gotcha mechanic or something. Or she's on the menus. And it would honestly make more sense for She Hulk to be on the menus. That she breaks the fourth wall and it is self-conscious, you know, and she she could like look at the different icons as you like highlight them or something like that would make way more sense from a like a character and world standpoint. Um, so, OK, OK, let's real quick before I give my take, uh, let's say some good things about this, because I feel like we have been criticizing. OK, it OK. Yeah, I I I have some good things. I will say uh, right off the bat, yeah, if yeah. you don't mind, because sure, no, yeah, I'm go for feeling it. I'm feeling things. I have thoughts. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, man, this is the kind of thing that like four years ago, I would have just lost my mind. I would have fallen out of my chair. I would have emailed this to every single person I knew. I would have like salivated all over it. I would have gone frame by frame to see every little thing that this thing has to offer. But now, with the way that Marvel is and kind of the way they're going through it, I, it's not that I'm seeing it at a not enchanted lens, but it's I'm a much more objective viewer of their stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. The good things I can see about it is a, 
uh, uh, combat looks decent. It looks a little like there will be a meta, obviously, and they're going to favor some characters, and there's going to be characters that are just niche, like how it, every hero super is. Right, yeah. I mean, that's how every fighting game is, really. Like, so, some are better than others when yeah. it comes to balancing, but typically, typically, there's always going to be the best characters versus the okay characters versus, like, the bad ones, you know? I will say there's this thing I keep seeing, this, like, team-up mechanic thing. Yeah, like looks the, really the rocket interesting group, rocket and Groot thing. Yeah, some way for you to team up with another player. That actually seems like dynamic and interesting. I love the way some of these abilities interact, like Doctor Strange's sling ring thing. Ah, um, I didn't notice. I, I I'm, I'm yeah, he portals it. and Spider Man jumps. It's like at forty four seconds, he jumps and goes like right into the heat of battle and does his what i assume is like his ultimate ability thing very oh, intriguing yeah. very dynamic gameplay yeah okay i think so, there's going to be a lot of ways yeah. to really really fuse your gameplay together and i think that's a point if you're wanting points in it or for the game i'll give that a point for the game and i have another one but i want to hear yours first Okay, um, so my initial thoughts on the game I were a little a bit low, I would say, because I'm just the the whole League of Legends style of game has been a big turnoff for me. Um and I don't know if that has to do with like League being toxic, the just I don't know, like growing up and everyone's playing it, it it just I, I was never able to really get into it. But the more I look at this trailer the more I can see the work that has been put into it. And it does look very polished and it looks actually pretty dang fun. You know, like I've had a, I played Overwatch for a long time and I really enjoyed Overwatch. I never played it really competitively because first person shooters aren't my, my style of competitive gaming that I like to do. So the fact that this is third person way more appealing to me as well. Um, and I do think that like, I don't know that there is a lot going for this. Um, I am very confused why they didn't use a lot more flagship heroes. Um, it like why put in Storm and Magneto over Wolverine? It makes zero sense to me. And I mean, Deadpool would make a lot of sense to show in the trailer. Maybe, maybe they're maybe they're saving these reveals for later, you know. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. That's exactly that. what I thought. I mean, like they have to be right because like if the X Men are actually in this game, like you know, like how how, how you'd expect. Makes no sense for Wolverine not to be in, but um, I could totally see myself playing this game, at least trying it out. Um, and the more I watch the trailer, the more excited I am for it. Like it's actually, it actually looks pretty fun. I never thought there would be a game like this, and it does make me sad that like we still haven't gotten a new Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, which I know there's a whole story to be told about why that game kind of like fizzled out after three. Like Infinite tried. And there was a lot of stuff going on with MCU and the rights with Spider-Man and the uh, Fantastic Four and X-Men, right? Like that's been still, it's still kind of going on, but like, I feel like it's getting more solidified now, but as a Marvel fan that is into MOBAs or into Overwatch, like, I feel like this is actually something that you should keep your eye on because it looks really good. It looks really fun. Uh, but we'll we'll just have to see because there are those red flags that we talked about. So, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say hey, they've got to be saving characters. I yeah, they I can't be, right? imagine. Like, okay, okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this: When is uh, when is uh, Deadpool three coming out? Because that's the only Marvel movie coming out this year, right? Oh uh, yeah. I, let me look. Because it would make a lot of sense to save those reveals for when that movie comes out. Like Deadpool and Wolverine specifically. July is when that comes out. But I doubt they're going to have a closed alpha and then have a release like a couple months after that. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, I'm not, but, I'm not saying they're going to release, but like what if the closed alpha starts and it's like early access and then there's a character trailer for Wolverine and Deadpool shortly after July? Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking, yeah. I'm just thinking that like capitalizing on that would make a lot of sense. 
but we'll see if they're going to do what makes a lot of sense because so far it seems like they're making a lot of decisions that don't make a lot of sense. Um, so we're just going to have to see, man. But it is weird, though. I don't know if the uh, Overwatch meta is still relevant in terms of like style and gameplay. So I don't, I don't know if this game's going to be um... huge. I don't know if it's going to be big, but you know, League of Legends keeps growing. So I, I would say they have a good shot, <laughs> you know, but again, you're right. Marvel stocks aren't high right now. Like a lot of people have kind of lost their trust in Marvel studios as a film company. So I don't know. I don't know if this is the right time to release this. Like maybe what if they like worked through a lot of their issues and had a good resurgence? Cause you know, they're, they're clearly taking time to like redo their film formatting and everything. So Maybe it would have been smarter to announce this then. We'll we'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, it's such a toss up because I just don't. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be like. I do think that uh, Overwatch this this des definitely has potential to take over Overwatch to to kind yeah. of. Take Overwatch by storm because that game as well is is faltering a little bit um, in the way that it's being handled. But we'll have to see. I mean, we were talking about how multiverses was going to take over the Smash community, and then it no, totally didn't. Yeah. And then we were like, Nick All Stars is going to kill Smash, and then it also totally didn't. Well, so, so it, well, hold on. So Nick All Stars, that's one thing because I, I feel like Nick All Stars was never going to take over Smash. Uh, like I think I thought that it might dip into the ultimate community, but it turns out that Nick All Stars is actually a lot more like melee. Um, so that's there's more crossover there for some reason. And then like that game had a sequel, and that sequel, like I don't think anybody cares about the sequel. Like it's weird. Like I feel like people who were really into the first one like the sequel, but like it's not they're not bringing in any new players with the sequel. I don't feel like. Um. Are you talking about Overwatch? No, I'm talking about Nick All-Stars, okay? And then you have oh, okay. Multiverses, which is coming back. And I'm actually really excited for it. Like, I am I'm also really excited going for to play Multiverses again. But I don't think that Multiverses is... It's weird how we thought it was going to compete with Smash, but it's kind of its own thing. I don't I don't look at Multiverses as a Smash game. Um, it's I kind of look at it through a different lens. It's like a team, a 2D team fighter is kind of how I feel. Um, which is like not different. It's, it's completely different mindset for me. So I think it created its own community, its own bubble. And but I but the thing is, this game actually looks very similar to like Overwatch and Smite. And I could see some people actually moving over to this game from that. And it is interesting to be said that it I I didn't realize this, but it is being made by Epic Games. So I don't know if like the Fortnite team is working on this or who I don't know who's working on it team wise. Um, but I would be interested in like what else that they've done. Um, because it seems like the people making it know what they're doing, at least in some regards, like in terms of like, they know how to make a game, yeah. you know, like this isn't like they didn't just hire some random studio off the, the street. Maybe they did. I have no idea. Um, it just doesn't seem that way. <laughs> so well, yeah, interesting. Anyway. Marvel rivals, Marvel rivals, Marvel rivals. Keep your eye on it. Uh, it's the, I was, uh, I, I'm gonna keep my eye on it. We'll see. Uh, the number two rivals game I'm excited for. Uh, mm. <laughs> you mean aside from Rivals Two? That's what I mean. Rivals Two, man. That's the rivals game I'm oh, gotcha. looking forward to the most. But I'll keep my eye on this one for sure.